there is something we have to talk about. And I don't quite know how to put this. What I am concerned about is whoever that is, I am getting rid of them. There he is. David. Sorry we're late. <laughs> Traffic. Oh, oh, terrible. You couldn't yeah. believe it. Every day. Worse and worse. Just the way she... It's the green. green. No, it's the Mayor's yellow. Good it's good just... It's the yellow. She is a... Well, where is he Allison? Well, uh, I've got some bad news and some good news. The bad news is that Allison has had to go visit her mom, who, well... Uh, is not well. That's too Gee, bad. Her poor thing. Sorry to hear that, David. The good news is that Dr. Bean and I will be cooking. Oh. I'm sure that's good news. <laughs> well, of course it is. <laughs> All the greatest chefs in the world are men. <laughs> so what's on the menu, maestro? <laughs> oh, what the hell are we going to give them? <sighs> yes, I think they may be expecting something slightly more formal. Oh, an onion? Oh. Just on its own? Uh. No, no, don't be ridiculous. That's for Thanksgiving. Allison would kill me. No, no. It must be something else. Have you ever cooked one of these before? Oh, yes. But I mean, wait, would it take like five hours, right? Not necessarily. <laughs> What? Uh, uh, oh. Oh. what do you think? 20 minutes? I, I don't know. Okay. You sure this is going to work? <laughs> okay, you're the chef. Just put on some vegetables and come and say hello. Maestro, my taste buds are positively tingling with anticipation. <laughs> oh, no thanks. I think we'll pass on the appetizer. So, Bean, big day Tuesday. Your big day, my big day. I have a question for you. He's very uh, attentive to detail. Everything must be just so. Uh. Bean, I think we need to be honest with each other. I cannot deny that over the last days, some suspicions have begun to kind of gather in my mind. And I would just like to ask you some direct questions. Okay. Number one. Are you a doctor? Number two, do you know anything about art? Um, oh. Oh, just for instance here, uh, <laughs> was Leonardo da Vinci an American basketball player? I'm 
not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. Oh, yesterday came suddenly. Why? Yes, hello, Mr. Gerson. Uh, oh, no, no, you must have misunderstood him. Uh, what can I... She is? Oh, thank you for calling me. Yes, okay, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Whistler's mother has actually arrived in America. Now listen, I am begging you, as a man whose entire professional career depends on you, behave rationally today. <laughs> there is no God. Isn't she? <laughs> All right, folks, enjoy her while you can. After this morning, we lock her away until the guy who paid $50 million for her turns <laughs> out. <laughs> and, Elmer, I believe we have a security meeting. That's right, sir. And uh, this is your key to the encasement system. There are only two. I have the other one. So if the painting turns up missing, I'll know where to come. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could all join me at the security console, Doctor, why don't you just stay here? Maybe a look at the real thing will inspire you for your speech. Let's just stay here. Don't leave this room till I get back, okay? <sighs> this chart maps all the security elements for the big day. Mm. And as usual in these circumstances, I've given the operation a code name, which is Operation Whistler's Mother. It's not a snazzy title, but I think it works. Gentlemen, with the system we've put in here, nothing will touch that painting short of an earthquake that brings down the whole gallery. 